Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on some new Steam sales that are running right now. These have been live for a couple of days, but uh, just getting to covering them. Now Tokyo Game Show is coming up and they're running some sales to go along with that. And on top of that, want to highlight some deals over at our good friends at Green Man Gaming as they've got some stuff on sale as well that I want to highlight. Right off the top, we do have the Square Enix Tokyo Game Show sale. And Square Enix, one of my favorite publishers, although sometimes... Their PC versions leave a little bit to be desired, but Final Fantasy 16 has been a great time, especially after modding it. They are running deals on a lot of their classic titles. Near Automata, Game of the Yorha Edition, 60% off for $15.99. That is always going to be a good pickup. An awesome, awesome game. I actually just watched the first part of the Near Automata anime as well. That was pretty good. Haven't watched the second part uh, yet, but the game is where it's at. $15.99 on that. And then Near Replicant is 60% off for $24. Both of those games are worthwhile to pick up. Replicant is not as good as Automata, but it's certainly still a very, very good game. I would highly, highly recommend you to check out Replicant as well, because overall, it is a solid... If you want to call it a remake, remastering, whatever of the first Nier title that initially came out back in like 2010 on uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. So uh, definitely check that out. $24 is a little pricey, but Square Enix games are just gonna always be a little bit on the pricier side. Uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion is 50% off for $24.99. I like Crisis Core FF7 a lot. Reunion makes the game better, better visuals, some quality of life improvements. Just keep in mind, it's still initially a PSP game and it's not a super lengthy game. Like Crisis Core, you could legit complete it in probably like 14 to 15 hours. It's not lengthy whatsoever, but uh, Zack's story is quite good, and it is integral to the Final Fantasy VII narrative arc, and uh, you should probably play Crisis Core before FF7 Rebirth comes out uh, for sure, but love Crisis Core, uh, great game there. You've got some other deals on some smaller games. Final Fantasy VII OG is on sale, 60% off for $4.79. I say smaller game, but that's uh, a pretty notable one, to say the least. Uh, use the Echo S mod for Final Fantasy VII OG if you're going to play it. It makes it fully voice acted, and yes, it's a fan-made uh, voice act, uh, you know, voice acting. It's fan-done voice acting, but it's really good for fan-made voice acting. I was shocked at how good Echo S was, and uh, I played through FF7 with that and had a great time with it, and uh, visual improvement everything like that. FF7, the original, is still very much worthwhile to play, even though the remake is out, so I would highly recommend that. The remake is on sale, but if you want the remake, I would recommend you go to Green Man Gaming. They've got a far better deal if you're an XP member, but it is 50% off for $35, which is kind of a wild price point, but uh, FF7 remake is just going to hold up in price until, probably until the trilogy finally wraps up, and then they decide to re-release the trilogy as the ultimate collection for like $100, and then, you know, you could try to get that on sale and that'll be in like 2035 when you can get that discount or maybe a little bit earlier than that 2030 let's put it at 2030 final fantasy 8 60 percent off for 479 final fantasy 9 60 percent off at 839 final fantasy 9 been rumored to get a remake for a while now and that's probably hopefully going to come out in the next year or so Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, is 60% off for $19.99. I personally think FF12 is criminally underrated, so I would give that a strong, strong recommendation. Definitely go check that out. Final Fantasy XII is great, and I uh, loved a lot of the mechanics in the game, and uh, a lot of the quickening. I, I love the quickening element as well. I thought that was a cool mechanic, and narratively, definitely one of the less, um, one of the lesser Final Fantasy main characters, let's put it that way, but, you know, characters like Ash really are the star of Final Fantasy XII, and Vaughn kinda, I don't know, he's just not that engaging of a character. For whatever reason, Final Fantasy XIII is not on sale, but thirteen two and Lightning Returns is on sale. Very bewildering as far as that's concerned. I cannot understand that whatsoever. I feel like that has to be, like, an error on their part of not putting the original 13 on sale. Like, why would you put 13 2 and Lightning Returns on sale but not the original 13? Uh, the original 13, I think, is great, uh, but don't buy it at full price. 13 2 and Lightning Returns are okay games as well. 13 2, I wasn't a big fan of. Lightning Returns is okay. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 is $14. I mean, if you go into Final Fantasy 15 with your expectations in line, you could have fun with it for sure. Narratively, it's an incredibly weak Final Fantasy outing, in my opinion, though, so take that for what it's worth. Uh, Stranger of Paradise, 1999. 
That game is super goofy, but still a fun time. Final Fantasy Type-0 HD is $11.99 as well. You've got Dragon Quest Builders on sale. Dragon Quest Infinity Strash is on sale as well. Dragon Quest Treasures is on sale. you got the Star Ocean Games discount. Second of, uh, second Story R, excuse me, 30% off for $35. Really dug that game last year. Uh, last Hope is 70% off for $6.29, and Divine Force is $29.99. You've got Live Alive for $19.99 as well, which that's a sleeper. Forspoken is $21, too expensive for that. Valkyrie Elysium is 60% off for $24. I enjoyed that game. Uh, it's very much a little bit lower budget, to say the least, but, uh, you know, still a fun action RPG there. Dio Field Chronicle, which I'm kind of... Uh, I, I'm a fan of that game. I thought narratively it was pretty cool. I thought the ending was well done. It's a super, super easy game, and it's not perfect by any means, and $24 might still be way too expensive for it, but I had a fun time with Dio Field Chronicle, so take that for what it's worth. Chrono Cross the Radical Dreamers Edition is 50% off for $9.99, and Neo The World Ends With You is 60% off for $24. Strongly, strongly recommend that. Had a great time with Neo The World Ends With You. It would behoove you to play The Original World Ends With You. Obviously, that's not that easy to do, given that the game is only available on the Nintendo DS and Nintendo Switch, but, you know, you, you, you can finagle a playthrough on the Nintendo Switch on PC, if you, if you know what I'm saying. But Neo The World Ends With You, great time, phenomenal soundtrack as well. So uh, definitely check that out. Good price point for that at $24. Next up, we do have also the Capcom TGS sale. Capcom, one of... You know, as far as PC gamers go, uh, they definitely do some things that uh, are not great for PC consumers. Some of their thought processes, but man, their game output has just been tremendous over the last few years. Resident Evil 4 Remake is 25% off for $29.99. Uh, one of the front runners for Game of the Year in 2023, uh, alongside some of the other major titles, but RE4 was right in the mix for the best game of last year with Baldur's Gate 3 and uh, Alan Wake 2. For me, Resident Evil 4 uh, was among my top uh, favorite games. And RE4 was already one of the greatest games ever created with the original PlayStation 2 release. Or, actually, it was originally a GameCube title, and then it got ported to the PS2, I believe it was, and then Nintendo Wii. But you get the idea. Remaking one of the greatest games of all time and doing a good job with it makes one of the great games of all time again. So uh, there you go with that. Street Fighter 6, 50% off for $29.99. Dragon's Dogma 2, 43% off for $39.89. Adding a casual mode to that game, which I've seen some, uh, a little bit of controversy for, let's just say, uh, as far as people wanting it to be more challenging. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection is on sale. There's a bundle with the Battle Network Legacy Collection and Mega Man X Dive Offline for $37 dollars and 40 cents that's actually a pretty good deal and x dive offline isn't a bad game uh x dive is also on sale 67 percent off for 9.89 uh x dive is a port of a mobile game that they stripped away like the you know the microtransactions and the grinding and all that uh but it's an enjoyable game is it perfect no it is a port of a mobile game but i like to see mobile games preserved in this way uh you know adding an offline uh capability to it and it's a fun time i mean if you enjoy the Mega Man style of gameplay you can have some fun with that 989 pretty good there Resident Evil Village Gold is 19 and not like I can't really recommend the older Resident Evil titles in good faith uh just because uh we had the Resident Evil Humble Bundle. Like, honestly, I would not be paying these price points if you're trying to get Resident Evil at a cheap price. Just wait a year, bro. You, If you haven't played Resident Evil at this point on all the other older games, is waiting another year going to kill you for that Humble Bundle to come back? I don't think it is. And yes, saying wait a year sounds crazy, but like, uh, yo, th there's other games to play. Uh, so yeah, that's my two cents on that. But uh, Double May Cry on sale as well. Some great stuff all around. And some classic uh, Capcom titles on sale as well. But again, Capcom runs these humble bundles that get you a lot of these titles, but uh, Okami HD, 50% off for $9.99. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, like, that's a great game, but it was available in that humble bundle not too long ago, the Capcom Summer Bundle. So, just... Noting that, there's also a Naruto sale running right now. Yeah, the Naruto Storm games, uh, they're fairly good. Storm 2 in particular, I think, has a really good single-player component, so would give that a look for sure as far as that's concerned. And then lastly, do want to highlight a couple of deals over at our good friends at Green Man Gaming real quick. The new releases, God of War Ragnarok as well as Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, both out today. God of War Ragnarok, if you're an XP member, 15% off for $51. Alternatively, use the code SEP15, SEP15, and you'll get it for 
for $51 as well. Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered for everyone is 12% off for $44. And remember with GMG, you don't pay tax either. So you're getting these games a little bit cheaper on top of that. So a good deal on Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered, a remake of Dead Rising 1. And then Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade is 59% off for $28.70 for XP members. A significant discount on top of the Steam discount. 2870 for the remake on top of that you get the dlc pretty good there and then black myth wukong 15 percent off for 51 dollars if you do want to check out uh black myth if you have yet to it's a solid action rpg whether or not you want to call it a souls like like that's your prerogative i don't even want to get into that argument great setting um you know just not my uh just not my personal cup of tea these challenging action rpgs aren't you know games i gravitate towards all the time but black myth was very enjoyable and from a setting standpoint it is just really really well done 51 dollars on that but that is gonna do it for me again a lot of great deals available two new steam sales and three new if you want to include the naruto sale as well and a lot of good deals over at gmg that's that's gonna do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below as always guys thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out hey what's going on guys mush here again hope you enjoyed the video as you guys might know youtube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky even if you're subscribed to the channel maybe you're not abundantly aware that i uploaded a video to remedy that situation make sure you hit the bell notification button this way whenever i upload a new video and i try to upload as consistently as possible you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live i would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.